let's take a look at the SEO checkup tool. This tool allows you to check your SEO efforts for your keyword and paid against your competitors. It also makes suggestions. Let's give it a run here. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in SEO for the keyword and look at seomoz.org for the website. You also have the option to be emailed when the report is completed because they do take a little bit to run. And you can enter your email and click analyze. When the report is finished, it'll be at 100%. As you can see here, we have options to view the full report, download this report as a PDF, or we can jump to specific pages, such as an overview of the entire site, or specific things like title, headings, body text, URL, site map, meta description, links, HTML code, images, meta keywords, and more. Now, if we look at this page, we can see in the overall report, it shows our site versus all of our competitor sites. And then it shows PR, link domain, Yahoo links, Alexa ranking, and domain age. If we go down here, we can also see an overall competition summary graph of page rank. And we also see a heads up comparison in regards to page rank, link domain, links, Alexa rank, and domain age in years. If it's green, that means we're ahead of the pack. If it's red, that means we're behind them. The title is the actual text that's within the title tags of your HTML. So what this shows you is what you're doing versus your competition. It also gives you a detailed analysis of document titles for you versus your competitors in regards to the keyword quantity, keyword position, keywords in the title, and title link. We also make suggestions for your website based on what we found versus your competition. Let's look at the next section of heading. This gives us a detailed report in regards to the heading tags that we're using within our HTML. Heading tags are H1, H2, H3, and are used to generally tell the search engine where to place emphasis on the page. So here we can look at our competition versus our site, see where we have how many times we use the H1, H2, and H3 tags with our keyword versus our competition. Then we can look at a detailed analysis of each one. Here we see the detailed analysis of the H1 tag, which contains how many you have the keyword, average word count, and the average length. Same is true for H2 and H3 tags. And then at the bottom, we make some suggestions based on what we found. Let's go to the next section, the on-page body text. So like the other reports, this is a detailed analysis of the body text of your web page. This is all the text that's contained on your page without HTML tags and code. So we can look at our competitors versus ourself. It shows us the keyword count, keyword position, density, word count, and text length of our page versus our competition. And then at the bottom, we make some suggestions on what you can do with your keywords in your body text. The next section is the URL section. This report covers the URL of our website and looks for keywords within that URL. We compare your site against your competition and then and make suggestions based on what we found. Let's take a look at the next section, the sitemap and robots.txt. This report shows you your robots text file and then gives you a lot of important information on what else you can do with that file. The next report goes over your meta description tag. This goes over what you have in your meta description versus what your competitors have. We look at other factors such as keyword count, keyword position, keyword density, word count, and text length all found within the meta description tag. If nothing is found, you see a not available. We then at the end make suggestions based on what we found for what you're doing versus your competition in regards to the meta description tag. The links section gives you a very detailed report of all links on the web page you submitted. We look at the anchor text, the actual link, where it's going, and if it's a follow or no follow link. Then at the end we make suggestions, like the, all the other reports, about what you can do to better your SEO efforts. The next section, the HTML code and page load time report, gives you a basic overview of the HTML size and all elements within your page that can help with load time. It also allows you to easily check validation for any of the outgoing sites you're linking. You can also view the load time of any of the page submitted. We define each element below and then make suggestions. The next report covers images. This goes over all the images that you have on your page and the alt text that you're using. The alt text can be important in SEO and you want to make sure you're using your keyword within some of the alt text. We analyze your page and below make suggestions. The last report is the meta keyword report. Meta keywords aren't that important for Google anymore, but they are used by some things. So this shows you your meta keywords versus all your competitors and goes into detail in regards to keyword count, position density, word count, and text length. This is all related to the meta keyword tag. Then below, we put together a little keyword list for you between you and all of your competitors 
if you want to put that into your other keyword list within the Shumai tool system. And then finally we make some suggestions. If that's too slow for you, you can always view the entire report in one page by clicking the view full report option at the top of every page. You can quickly thumb through this and find just what you want or just get a brief overview. You can also download the report as a PDF by clicking on the PDF image or the link at the top. Download this to your home computer to which you can go through and print or do whatever you want to do with it. That covers the Shoe Money Tools SEO Checkup Tool. It's just one of many tools that we have inside the Shoe Money Internet Marketing Tool Suite. If you have questions about this tool or other tools, just ask in the forum or check out the documentation link.